compositing wise, uh, we can more compare this to, let's say, Photoshop or Final Cut, uh, but for live video. That's the processing, what I'm, what I'm using in here. And uh, uh, however, if we're using one layer or we use 10 layers, uh, only need to understand one layer. Uh, if the availability is everywhere the same, the tool set is everywhere the same, um, and it's so much more easier in order to deal with that hardware. In order to build a new effect or a new scene, I go into my scene controls and um, saying I want to build a new scene somewhere in here. I can make a right mouse click to make a new scene like this or use the Control n shortcut or insert new scene from over here. And this will pop up with a name here, say let's call this, you never heard this name before, test. Uh, and I will see the new test scene down here in the list. And clicking this, you'll see by default, the system will create for me a scene, which is somewhat the equivalent to an ME, with a background like an AB bus and four layers sitting on top. All of the sources are on black at this moment. Now, in order to make this all visible, I will put that scene into the multi view over there where you see the 3D lot at this moment. So I'll use this layout again, going to my screen here. Say I want to put in my test scene in here. It will appear in full black, okay? Confirm this, okay? And going back to my controls on my test scene. Now here I can pick a cross point. Let's say I want to build a simple double box effect. Um, so in this case, unlike an ME switcher, I cannot just simply delete a key or so. Here I can I simply erase this resource because it's not needed at this moment. So I will say, okay, my background, I will use one of my RAM recorder channels. So I can use this crossbar from over here. I can use also a control panel or the virtualization of it. Or I can use this by the menu, say I'm going into my program source. So I want to go to my clip players and uh, RAM recorder players and use channel number one. So it's a background loop running in there. Uh, use the background loop from here. And on my left screen, I want to have my uh, clip player number one. And in my clip player number one, actually, um, use this channel here and put this on, turn the layer on. It's a full screen at this moment. Okay, so this one for now I will also erase. So it's a background with a clip layer and it's turned on or off like this. And now it will change the position and size. So I will enable my transforms for this, change the scale like that. I can pick it up from here in the screen in my screen over here, like this is a little bit smaller now. Let's say I make this 30% size. <clears throat> and now from here on, is as simple as cut and paste operations. I go to that guy, say Control Z, Control V. I have a secondary version of that. So we'll call one left side, F2 left. And the other one is right, F2, like on any other program. Call this one right. And confirm that. And this guy, I want to transform also over here. And I simply change the cross point in here, saying this cross point should be now clip player number two for whatever reason. And I'm pretty much done. And I can keep going. Just copy, paste, 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 or insert new layer, new layer, new layer, um, which is an infinite, infinite process. Mm -hmm.